So I'm doing blue corn hard shell tacos with spicy Mexican chorizo and roast butternut squash. Delicious. So in my cast iron skillet, this is fresh Mexican chorizo. And what's great about it, this is good to go. It's already delicious. It's got tons of paprika and garlic and oregano already in the sausage. So all I did was brown that in a little olive oil. And to that, I have a combo of fresh, sweet, and hot peppers, one large onion, and a couple of fat cloves of garlic. And I add a little water to give it a place to go, to give it a little juice. And you just let this do its thing. For the butternut squash, uh, for a tray of tacos, or to fill eight tacos, you're probably only gonna need the neck of the squash. The smaller you cut it, the quicker it will bake. We have the oven nice and hot at 450. We're going to drizzle or spray with olive oil and season these guys up with salt and pepper, a little S and P, a little chili powder, then a little bit of cinnamon, very common in Mexican cooking, and a little bit of nutmeg. I'm gonna throw this in the oven until it gets crispy at the edges and lightly browned and nice and tender. It'll be about 15 to 22, 23 minutes, depending on how small you cut them. When we come back, we're gonna talk taco and the topping. When your squash comes out, it smells amazing. It has chili powder and cinnamon and nutmeg and salt and pepper on it. When the squash comes out, just put a little foil over the top so it stays warm. And we're gonna turn the oven way back down to like 250, 275. And we're going to melt cheese and toast our taco shells. So we have the flat bottom taco shells, hard shell taco shells. These are blue corn, super fun. Um, and we're going to basically make a big nacho out of them. We're gonna put some smoked cheddar in the bottom of each and some, sm uh, some pepper jack, Monterey Jack with jalapenos. And then we're gonna put these in the oven for a couple of minutes to toast the shells by themselves and fully develop their flavor and melt the cheese onto the shell. See you in a few minutes, guys. Then we're going to make pico guac to put up on top. Just throw it all in the same bowl. You're gonna put it on top of each other, so why not mush it all together to begin with? So in both guacamole and in pico de gallo, you start with a little onion, fine chopped red, a little garlic, I have a couple of cloves grated, and chili peppers, serrano or jalapeno. They're all in here, and I let it set with the acid. In this case, I use lime juice, lemon juice, delicious too, and salt. Salt draws the liquid out. The acid turns, it starts to cook this and break it down, takes the edge off, and it gives you all this delicious juice at the bottom of the bowl that's going to flavor the guac pico mashup that we're doing. So if you say guac, of course we're adding our avocados. It's a fun trick. You just mush them down onto a rack and it kind of <laughs> chops them up while you're adding them to the bowl. And then we've got our seeded fine chopped tomatoes for the pico de gallo portion of this. We're adding our chopped tomatoes, of course, in cilantro. And I like to put in a little bit of smoky cumin and a little bit of cayenne hot pepper sauce. So a little bit of Frank's Red Hot, a little splash. And our green onions too. I like green and red onions in mine. And a little cilantro. If you don't groove on cilantro, use parsley. So I'm gonna mix and mash this all together. When we come back, we're gonna stack up our tacos. We're gonna build our tacos. When you go online attached to this recipe, you'll also get the recipes for my uh, refried spicy black beans, and my green rice. The green rice is just ground up spinach, hot peppers, and green onions and lime juice. It's really delicious. And it adds a lot of flavor and of course great nutrition to your rice. So you take a hard shell taco with the cheese melted inside, and we're gonna fill it up. Let's put a little squash down in the bottom, our roasted chili squash. Then we're gonna add in our Mexican chorizo with the sweet and hot peppers. And then I'm gonna add in a little crunch, a little bit of shredded cabbage. I went with purple because of the blue tacos. And you're gonna just hit it with a touch of lime juice just to be cheeky. A little bit of our pico guac. And then we're gonna add a couple of those little pickled jalapeno rings that you get at the movie theater when you order the nachos. Right? And then, and then my favorite part, toasted pumpkin seeds, pepitas up on top. Whoa! 